here at Central Valley Talk celebrate what's good about Fresno. And we have uh, uh, an artist with us today that, and I'm going to try to say her name. Go ahead and bring her in. <laughs> okay. Madubanti Chowdhury. Chowdhury, yes. So you say it once. Mike Madubanti. Briggs, nice to meet you. I'm Mike Briggs. I should have nice said that with the show started. Nice to meet you, too. Madubanti. Yes. It's a beautiful name. Thank you. Is he Indian? Indian, okay. yes. And uh, were you born here? Um, I was actually born in India, so I moved here when I was 11 years old. Oh, so you remember India well then? Yes. How nice that you yes. are, know your culture. Now, we're going to talk about some things you have coming up and, you know, why you're in art and what your motivation is. But I just want to pop a couple of pieces up first so we get a flavor okay. of the type of stuff you do. Tell us about this. Okay, so this is a picture of Christ, and uh, I actually uh, took this photo from a reference photo online, and I decided to work on the color combination, and I felt that the yellow would be a very good contrast with the brown. Mm -hmm. So um, that's that's a little bit of uh, that picture. Personally, I'm a very spiritual person myself, so a lot of the paintings that I do are uh, spiritually themed. Mm -hmm. So, um, now what would you call your medium on this? Um, I mostly work with acrylic. Okay, so, so it's I painted. Yes, okay, it's I thought painted. Maybe you had a picture and you photoshopped it or something. It's a uh, it's, it's a beautiful. painting. It's okay. a painting. All of them are paintings. Okay. Um, I'm a painter. I don't do any um, graphic design or anything okay. like that. So I mostly work with acrylic. Uh, I started my journey with watercolor, but uh, eventually I transitioned into the acrylic. acrylic. Now, what and is I this? I felt that this was more comfortable. Is for this me. acrylic also? This is also acrylic. This is a picture of Frida Kahlo. Oh, sure. Um, and uh, again, I saw a reference photo, and I felt that I can convert the reference photo into a painting. And uh, so that's that's where I got my um, inspiration from for this photo. Well, I'm sorry I asked if they were photographs manipulated. Your paint is so uh, vividly, strikingly, you know, perfect. It almost looks like a photo. Thank you. I did go to the is it MoMA in San Francisco and saw Frida Kahlo exhibit a couple months back. Oh, so, you did? Yeah, that was pretty exciting. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Uh, Frida Kahlo is one of my favorites as a painter. Mm -hmm. uh, she really is an inspiration to me and uh, her artwork is an inspiration to me. So that's why I decided to uh, create this piece. Okay, now let's talk a, a minute about some things you have coming up i know this thursday art hop now uh if you're watching the show the shows repeat a whole bunch of times so i try to say the dates yes. thursday february 7th if you're watching after february 7th art hop just passed but if it's yes. before february 7th where will you, what where will your art hop be um, February 7th, before February 7th, it is at Studio 74 right now. So Studio 74, Diane is the owner mm -hmm. at Studio 74. She's preparing to uh, uh, prepare everything for the Art Hop um, program for the 7th. So some of my art pieces are there currently. They're already there. They're already okay. there currently. So um, that would be the best place to check my art. So that art Hop will be at 1274 North Van S. It's just north of Olive in the Tower District. Uh, Van S is a one-way street, so you could park across the street at the Tower Market and walk across the street, or there might be parking right in front of that. But uh, Diane Mendez, Studio 74, and you can see, let me try your name again. Ma Madhu Banti. Madhu Banti's yes. work there. But yeah, yes. So that's th this week. They're there now. And they'll yes. be there after the art hop too, right? Yes. So they're going to be there for February, March, and April. Oh, okay. Great. great. So my art is on exhibit for February through April. We have some so right behind us, some high heel shoes. Yes. So those are some red stilettos. I'm uh -huh. very uh, passionate about red stilettos. And so I wanted to create kind of a fun piece um, more uh, more um, red and uh, gray background. So I acrylic wanted to well? create acrylic as well. Is everything well. we see today going to be acrylic? Yes. Okay. okay. So everything you see today is going to be acrylic. So now, this acrylic is, is water-based uh, too, isn't it? 
Uh, acrylic is water-based. It's a little bit easier to work with than the watercolor medium yeah. because the watercolor medium is a little bit thinner. Mm -hmm. um, and depending on the particular texture and the and the and the medium, the way in which you manipulate the medium, it varies right. from uh, one painting to another. I personally feel more comfortable with the acrylic medium. Uh, I started with watercolor and then I transitioned to acrylic about six years ago. Mm -hmm. So I've been working with acrylic for about six years now. Yep. Now, if you see that painting yep. over there, the girl with the umbrella, that was inspired by a Bollywood movie. Um, that piece was inspired by a Bollywood movie called Bursat. Uh, which means rain. Okay. So um, that that movie inspired me to create that piece. Now, uh, before time gets away from us, uh, okay, so you'll be a couple months at Studio 74, but you have some other showings, or you'll be yes. in some other locations. Yes, so I'm currently uh, working on, or working to create a mural for Youth for Christ, mm -hmm. And um, downtown, I'm Fresno? downtown as well. So I need to create a blueprint for that. I'm currently working on that. And I'm also working on the art exhibit for June for the Fresno Arts Council. Wow. So there's going to be an art exhibit in June from for Fresno Arts Council. So if you go and check that, uh, that uh, show, you will be able to see a lot of my pieces as well okay. in June. All right. Fresno Arts Council. And was there another one coming up too? Uh, no, those are the ones that are upcoming. But soon we'll be able to see a whole mural by you. Yes. Probably driving down the road. Yes. Uh, I think they're down in Divisadero, I think. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Now, um, let's see some more of this work here. It's fascinating. So this is an impressionistic piece. Um, this is a flower vase that is an impressionistic piece. The translucent was a little bit challenging, the mm -hmm. translucence on the water, but um, it's basically uh, more of an impressionistic piece and more of an abstract. So I focus mostly on the small scale, the local, the eccentric, and ordinary aspects of the human experience in my painting. So I try to focus on the abstract form in most of my paintings. Well, this so what you will notice is most of my paintings are abstract. What, uh, water bends light, and the way you capture that is incredible. I can't even Thank imagine you. how you would start on that. Thank you. Do you just do it all in once, or do you have to undo um, it sometimes and redo it? So it depends on the piece, really. Some pieces are completed in two hours. Some pieces it takes three hours, four hours, two or three days. Yeah. Just depends on the particular piece right. that I'm working on. Yeah, well, good job on that. It's incredible, really nicely done. Um, we have coming up here, is this a chocolate sundae? I yes. Can't see, I can't see that well. So a I hope it's, hope it's not something else. <laughs> a cupcake. I, mm -hmm. uh, so that piece is basically also an acrylic piece. I just wanted to create a fun piece there. Um, and the cherries and the cupcakes go well together. So um, it, it just, it's something that's delicious. So I just decided to, cupcakes are my personal favorites. Nice. So uh, I not, wanted to create a piece that was reflective of that. We have trouble grasping the size of these, are these? They're, um, most of them are nine by 12s, the original pieces. This one actually sold. Mm -hmm. um, a couple of my other pieces, the rain, the girl uh, with the umbrella sold as well. I have had this Frida Kahlo, uh, that one sold as well at the Crest Theater. Mm -hmm. So I, I participated in the, in the art hop. Uh, three months in a row at the Crest mm -hmm. Theater. So the Crest Theater, um, I sold most of my pieces at the wow. Crest Theater. So now, do you yeah. have? Um, uh, do, do a lot of people go to that art hop? By the way, uh, yes, must they have been do. if you sold that many pieces. Yes. So I go um, to the Tower District and I hit two or three, and I keep thinking I'm going to try to go downtown to Crest or Cajun or something. Yes. I never get there, but I like to start with the Tower. Yes. Let me ask you this: as an artist. Do you, do you feel bad if somebody comes up and says, oh, I like that color scheme go, will go in my house? 
I I really appreciate that That's experience, okay. and I and I enjoy that experience. Um, I also do work by commission sometimes. Mm. So if there is someone who is interested in a particular piece and they want to want me to create that particular piece, then I I do that, do that. for commission as well. Nice. So commission based work as well. This is a this is a Buddha. Um, and this is a piece that I'm very passionate about as well. Like I said, I'm a very spiritual person, mm -hmm. so that's reflected in my work. Um, the Buddha is particularly interesting because he promoted the idea and concept of unity. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's very critical to to um, have in a piece. And, and I think what the piece means is very important mm -hmm. more than anything else. Well, that's why I like to meet an artist and hear yes. the background on each story. It, this one already has more meaning to me than I would have got just looking at it. I, have, I don't like to go to art and say, what is it? You have to tell me what it is. But right. I love it when an artist wants to tell. I love that part. Yes. So. Yeah. Um, okay, we. Uh, I'm going to restate everything uh, where and when they can see your art. But anything else you want our viewers to know? Um, I would say uh, I have a lot of people ask me where do I get my inspiration for mm -hmm. art, and it comes from a variety of places. I do a lot of observation. I observe a lot of people, activities, uh, events, and things like that. I read a lot. I watch a lot of movies, um, so I converse with a lot of people about my artwork. So th these are the things that kind of inspire me to create the artwork that I create. Yeah. And, and so you get your art out of living. You go out in the world yes. and see stuff and uh, are moved or inspired. This one's absolutely beautiful. Is this one sold? Uh, no. Okay. No. And will this be at the uh, uh, Art Hop at Studio 7? Um, yes. Okay. Yes. Possibly. Um, say your name one more time. They're Madhu Monty. And the last name? Chowdhury. Okay, we'll be at Studio 74 for Art Hop February 7th. Your art's already there, right? Yes. And it'll be there for a couple months. Yes. Uh, it's a great chance to go see it. Go, go to Art Hop Thursday, and you'll be there, yes. I would imagine. And uh, Studio 74 is at 1274 North Van Ness, just north of Olive in the Tower District. And later on, we'll see your art at the um, Fresno Arts Council. Yes, Fresno and, Arts Council. And... Hopefully, we'll see a new mural pop up. And uh, thank you for coming. I'm very thank moved you. and inspired by your art. Thank you. Uh, we'll be back with more authors and artists right after this.